Privatisation began in the UK in 1979 under Margaret Thatcher and her Conservative government. Since then, there have been many nationally owned British industries that have been sold into the private sector, including Royal Mail, British Coal and National Power. The benefits of privatisation that were promised, like higher efficiency and cheaper costs, are yet to be seen in industries like the rails, where customer satisfaction is a 10-year low, and the cost to the government being the highest it's ever been. In the 2019 general election in the UK, the Labour Party's manifesto promised a massive change to Britain's industries by renationalising them in order to help combat the growing economic divide happening in the country, which has greatly been a result in the inequality of government spending across the country. The renationalisation of Britain's industries is massively supported by the population, with the majority of people wanting it, so when Labour lost the election, it put into question why this had happened. The main reason cited for this is that the British public didn't trust Jeremy Corbyn, which wasn't helped by the media in the lead-up to the election. In the general election, Labour lost long-standing Labour seats, and whilst this could be attributed to Brexit and the infighting in the Labour Party over this, it can still be said that there is a misunderstanding in the older generations of socialist ideas and how they can widely benefit all people. This project aims to create a piece of work that is directly targeted towards the older generations in Britain and aim to inform them of the negative effects of privatisation on them and their local communities. This is because formerly nationalised services that are now run by the private sector have decreasing customer satisfaction and are largely underperforming to the level that was promised. The aim of this project is to create a campaign that educates about the negatives of privatisation in a simple, easy to follow way in the hopes of changing people's perceptions of it.